telling you, let me sleep last night, and you didn't hear the voice of somebody calling your name, and you did not leave me? Look what I was doing. Okay, I understand. Revelation 13, 15 through 18. And he had power to give life under the image of the beast. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Let me break this down. Understand this. Historically, men have created gods. Men have created gods out of their own imagination. But God created man. Men have made gods of wood, gods of stone. Men have made gods out of various articles and out of various things. Men have made gods, but there's only one true God. Are you with me? Men have made wooden gods that can't speak. Men have made gods of stone that cannot talk. But for the first time in history, according to the book of Revelation, men are going to make a god. And the first time in history, an image is going to talk. Can you imagine during revelation, tribulation period, that for the first time in time, in history, the image begins to speak? Let's keep on reading. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and mind, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads. Forehead is a symbol of mind. See, the enemy has your mind, he has your body. <laughs> Why put a mark on his forehead? He only puts a mark on those hearts that have already been marked. Are you with me? The reason he can mark you on the outside is because it already marked you on the inside. Some of you get so caught up in tattoos. It's tattoos of God and tattoos of Satan. You know what? God ain't sure about no tattoo in 2010. There are people who have been tattooed in their hearts. There are people who have been permanently hurt, and God will deliver you from what happens on the inside out. I'm not talking to anybody. Yeah. Well, you don't go to the street. You got something going around. Yeah. You're going to hell because you got something on your head. You're going to hell because you got something on your feet. What about you going to hell because you got some evil, wicked, mean stuff in your heart? If I can preach to nobody, I'll preach to myself. My Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. My Bible says, by this, all men will know that you are my disciples. By the love, you show one towards another. It makes me love in the house of God. Got people out there want to fight some external stuff. Oh, your dress ain't long enough. And you know, if you were super holy, you would wear a dress to your ankle. I, I see some ankle wearing dress women that got some crazy stuff going on. 